Today, I'm visiting the Sutera Harbour in Kota Kinabalu to enjoy a boat cruise along the city's famous waterfront. This two-hour cruise provides excellent views of the islands, the marine park and the sunset and I cannot wait. Join me on this boat cruise adventure and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Hussmeister adventures. Salamat Pagi from the marina. This morning, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. I've been a little bit nasally and a bit of a sore throat, but I said I need to push on because this trip needs to continue and I need to continue bringing good value videos to my subscribers. So I'm here at the marina, beautiful marina. There's a golf club here. There's also a hotel behind me. It's very nice. It's for the rich and famous, which is not me. <laughs> not rich or famous, just a normal person. But I've come here because I want to do a sunset cruise tonight and I need to buy my ticket. So there's a cruise outlet here, a ticket office, look at. I come to buy my ticket and tonight I want to do a two hour sunset cruise. There's a lot of yachts and ships and boats and whatever uh, here and over there people are doing island hopping they're going from island to island swimming in the nice blue waters uh, the crystal waters of Borneo but I won't be doing that I have other things to do today but I want to do the night cruise so I'll go buy my ticket I purchased my ticket for 300 ringgit and then admired some of the fancy views of the resort Wow look at those views in my first video I stated that Borneo had a different feel to it. At this moment, I could be mistaken for being in Polynesia with these beautiful palm trees, clear blue waters, the blooming flora, and of course the warm climate. Okay, so it's cruise time. People are gonna start boarding soon. That's the yacht we're taking. It's just called the North Borneo Cruises Yacht. It's pretty big. There's approximately 60 people that are going to board this this uh, this yacht. I'm still a little bit not so great, but I'm pushing on. I'm a bit early, but I'm going to show you some of the beautiful views out here. Look at that. How good is that? Tropical island. I'll get a bit closer for you guys. Several hours later, I came back for the exciting boat cruise. The views in the late afternoon become even more magical as the sun subsides. You can even sit outside now without getting burned. Anyway, it's cruise time and it's time to board the yacht. We're on board the ship now. We're on board the North Borneo Cruiser. Uh, it's a nice yacht. It's very posh. And for some reason, they've given me like a VIP table right at the front near the band. There's people all around. Uh, there's also kind of people behind me, but like I'm on the dance floor, so they must think that I'm ready to dance. But I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm, so I'm just taking it easy. But I'm pretty excited. We're gonna have some good music. We've got a buffet as well waiting, and you can go outside around the yacht and take photos for sunset. So this is gonna be really good. It's a two-hour cruise from 5:30 to 7:30. Uh, it's it's not that cheap. It was um, it was 300 ringgit uh, to board the ship which is about a Australian or hundred Australian dollars but it's got a buffet it's got live music it's got like a great yacht this this is gonna be exciting so that's for two hours hope to have a good time here and hopefully after that I'll have enough energy to go to Jalangaya which is the main strip there Gaya Street and they've got a night market there so maybe we'll eat again who knows 
Malaysia is all about eating. Very nice. This is the top deck guys. So right at the top here, people are taking photos, Instagram pictures. We've got the beautiful islands in the background there. Um, we've got the hotel over here on this side. Looks really good. We've got the Columbus ship over here. Very nice, very pleasant. And there's some comfortable seating up here at the top. If people get a little bit bored downstairs, they can come upstairs and sit here. This is a pretty posh part of uh, Kota Kinabalu. We've got a nice resort hotel here with a golf course. And I'll put the name down below. Um, probably, you know, a bit pricey to stay here, but well worth it if you can afford it because, you know, there's a golf course, there's a, there's a uh, private beach over here. Uh, there's, a, there's a beach club and there's access to the islands as well. The islands are just out there and because this is the marina you can easily take uh, a ferry out to the islands with no hassle at all. You don't have to catch any cabs anywhere. It'll, it's all done from here. And there's a lot of yachts here as well so very nice. Nice pool over there. Everyone's in the pool. I'm glad I did this cruise. It just lets me get out of the hustle and bustle a bit and just kind of relax for at least for a few hours. Fresh air. Uh, I'll let you know how it goes by the end of the uh, tour, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I walk back downstairs as we're advised that the buffet will be ready shortly. There certainly is a lot of food in the buffet. I can see many cuisines including Indonesian, Malaysian, Chinese, Japanese and Western. The guests take turns at collecting their dinner from the buffet while the band plays some light music in the background. For my dinner, I decide on a little bit of everything including seafood. I also love desserts in Asia, so I get some traditional kek lapis and kueh. Bon appetit! Here's a sample of the great music the band is playing while I eat. I'm enjoying the food and entertainment, but I've decided to come outside and see the views. Okay guys, in the distance, you can see a number... I won't put my hand in front of the screen because it, it uh, disrupts the focus, but you can see a number of shacks on the water. They are the Filipino refugees that live in Borneo. It's a really big settlement on the water and I'd say that there's probably a few thousand people there by the looks of it because it goes on for a while. This is very interesting. I thought I'd capture that on camera for you and if you have a look it will keep going and going and going. It just keeps going. So that's where the city is. 
Kota Kinabalu city, not too far away. And as you pan across, this is where the Filipino villages are. I'll zoom in for you and you can see all the villages in the distance. They live off the water mainly. Fishing villages. The sunset is also stunning. Wow, look at that. Some of the islands that we're looking at today include Gaia Island, Manukan Island, Palau Mamutik, Sulug Island, and Palau Sapi. Okay, time to go back inside now and catch up with the rest of the entertainment. I've just come from the boat cruise and right behind me there is a uh, night market happening here right in front of City Hall. Um, I've been hanging around here for a little bit. I had so much fun on the boat cruise. I even danced. I haven't danced for about eight years and then <laughs> they got me up and I was dancing. It was, it was fantastic. There was traditional dancers, there was like pop music, Korean music, Chinese music, you name it. It was, the band was fantastic. I, I, kind of got carried away a little bit I forgot to film myself dancing but I made sure I got a lot of other people uh, <laughs> while they were dancing on camera but I had, I had an awesome time it was well worth it the cruise was great but there's a yeah there's a bit of a night market here so I'm gonna spend some time here please like share subscribe to my channel please share the videos Borneo is amazing uh, there's so much original kind of experiences here uh, share this get this out there get people coming to Borneo as well it's amazing people are so friendly I'm gonna go go for a walk see what else I can eat
What else can you do at 8.30 at night?